guys! Today I'm going to talk to you about my ice cream machine. I really love it. I'm a big ice cream fan. I always have been. So I really wanted to get an ice cream machine so I could make my own at home. And I did. I got this Cuisine Art one. So the drum inside comes out and you have to put that into the freezer. We have a really large freezer but it would be worth checking the dimensions that it would fit into your freezer drawer because you have to freeze the um, core inside for at least eight hours before you use it. So while it only takes half an hour to make, you do have to make sure you've already got the, the core frozen. The machine itself is quite simple, it's got the off and on switch and then it's got this plastic lid on the top with this pour container so you pour the liquid into there and this stops it from splashing everywhere and it also has this paddle inside which churns the ice cream and that breaks up the ice crystals while it's freezing so that's what gives you a nice smooth ice cream and that's the reason that you need an ice cream machine and you can't just pour um, cream and milk into the freezer it would just set in a big solid lump you need to keep breaking down the ice crystals to, to get that smooth texture and then there's a big bowl that goes inside that you keep in the freezer and it's in my freezer at the moment but you'll see it when I show you the ice cream recipe it's actually the recipe that comes in the book that we're going to follow so I'll show you that now this is 250 grams of sugar it does taste amazing but that's an awful lot of sugar 650 ml of double cream and 330 ml of whole milk. Then you whisk that all together and then you add two drops of vanilla. So you've got the frozen bowl inside and then the paddle attachment. And then you put this lid on. Just clips into place. Switch it on to the wall and then turn it on. So it starts rotating. So you can see it's already started to freeze all the edges. This is five minutes, twenty minutes. You can see it's really cooking and I'm now at the minutes. This is the ice cream just out of the machine. Still quite soft scoop. I'm just going to scrape off some of this. And now we're going to put it in the freezer to firm up so it'll move quite quickly. So when you start getting down to the bottom of the bowl, you can see more where it's stuck to the side, but with this big plastic spoon, you can scrape it off. So this is the ice cream, and I'm gonna pop it into the freezer now, and it will set up nice and firm. There's so much sugar and cream in it. It's quite shocking, actually, when you put that much sugar into your ice cream, and that is the nicest recipe that I've found for making a plain vanilla ice cream. It's so creamy and smooth, but you know it's got all that sugar in it, and it is the sugar and the fats from the cream that keeps the ice cream nice and soft. I have been experimenting with making my own ice creams using um, like pulped up bananas and um, fruits that I've smoothied in my Nutribullet um, and adding those to the ice cream machine and they do work and you get like a, a nice healthy ice cream and you know exactly what's gone into it but I find they're not as soft because they don't have the sugar and the fats in them. They, I mean, they're not as hard still as an ice cube would be, but they are more solid and you have to leave them out on the side longer to be defrost before they're ready to be served. But for controlling what goes into your ice cream, I think this is a brilliant machine for you to be able to do that. And you can make the one with all of the cream and the sugar occasionally as a treat. And it's still probably better than the one that you get from the shops, which has that much cream and sugar in it, but also has all the chemicals and the preservatives. It's a little bit noisy, I guess that's a, an issue, but I think for, it's only on for half an hour and for the, the price, like the next step up in ice cream machines is hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So I. For the price that I paid, I don't mind the noise for half an hour. You probably wouldn't want it in the same room as if you were watching TV, but um, it's not, not a big issue because it's not having to be on constantly. It's just a half an hour blast while it's churning. And this is the bowl of ice cream. Now it's finished. It's been in the freezer overnight and you can see how it's settled. You do have to move quite quickly. You can see a little bit of the cream, but it's almost separated. Um, around the edge and I really don't know a way to overcome that you just have to work really quickly and I'm just going to scoop some out for you to see so with this ice cream we did use the golden caster sugar so it gives it that kind of 
more more creaminess to it, a more creamy colour. It's more of a yellowy than a pure white. I'm just melting this little bit down here so you can see it's not got any sugar crystals in it. It's totally smooth and creamy, this ice cream is. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll get some recipes up for the other ice creams that I've been making, the fruit-based ones and the sorbets. You can do non-dairy ice cream in it as well. And um, if you've got any questions, you can leave those below. Have a great week. I'm using the large cup and I'm just putting in... A banana. Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about my ice cream machine. I really love it. I'm a big ice cream fan. I always have been. So I really wanted to get an ice cream machine so I could make my own at home. And I did. I got this Cuisine Art one. So the drum inside comes out and you have to put that into the freezer. We have a really large freezer but it would be worth checking the dimensions that it would fit into your freezer drawer because you have to freeze the um, core inside for at least eight hours before you use it. So while it only takes half an hour to make, you do have to make sure you've already got the, the core.